Alright you guys, welcome to day two. Getting a bit of a later start than we would normally want, but the morning was all rainy, right Zach? Yeah. So we weren't able to do much fishing. And usually we do fish in the rain, but today we were not able to fish in the rain because it was lightning. There's lightning. Because here on the East Coast, we have lots of lightning, so... It was a bit on hold. We just spent the morning doing some research. We're going to some other lakes later this week. Spent some time just enjoying ourselves, play some cards. It's a pretty chill morning, right? Yeah. Well, this afternoon, we're on a bit of a... Oh, one other thing I completely forgot to mention. You guys will see this clip now, but uh, pretty much Zach took a few casts down next to our dock that's like right next to our house. And what'd you catch? Small mouth. That's right. First small mouth of the trip. Really sucks. We weren't really able to get it totally on video. But I got some video of the release. Zach, it was a really, really cool experience. It jumped out of the water like how many times? A few times. Yeah, and so we're gonna start there. We're gonna keep moving down. Um, but yeah, so you guys will see the clip of that. Enjoy. Uh, and then, yeah, now it's time to catch some fish. Real quick, I'm gonna take a quick pause from the video just to explain a new thing that we're gonna be doing. Every single video, we're gonna be doing a subscriber shout out. So we're gonna be shouting someone out that comments on one of our videos and that's subscribed. Uh, and for this first shout out, we're gonna be doing Logan Marte. Uh, you've been watching our videos for a really long time. Uh, you are, congratulations, you are the first subscriber shout out here at Jay-Z Fishing. If you guys wanna be a next subscriber shout out uh, in, in the next video, all you need to do is click the subscribe button, go down in the comment section below, say that you subscribed, and we'll shout you out. Um, but yeah, Logan Marte, you are the first subscriber shout out. Back to the video. All right, we just got down to the first spot. Pretty much the goal of today is just to be hopping some um, some docks, just walking along the bank. And uh, yeah, so I'm starting out with the uh, baby bull shad from uh, 10,000 fish, I believe. I don't know, I'm not a huge bass guy, but it works in the bay for, for bass and striper too. It looks really good. So I think I don't see why it wouldn't get a bite here. We're just growing it out as far as I can, letting it sink all the way to the bottom. Just a slow, constant, steady retrieve. Yep. So the rod that I'm also using today, I forgot, <laughs> forgot to mention, is actually Jack's first bait casting rod. Very first one that he ever bought. And it's not in working condition, really. I mean, it's missing two eye holes, one at the top and one at the very bottom here, as you might be able to see. Uh, and then here's the top. But, um, so it, it's not the best bait caster rod of all time. And on it, I got a 13 fishing reel, which is my favorite bait casting reel so far. It's one of two that I own, one of three, but um, by far my favorite. So hopefully we can get some fish. I think our primary species that we're targeting right now is, is smallmouth, uh, but we'll take whatever we get, whatever we can get. One other interesting thing that I thought I might mention to you guys is if, if you guys watch a lot of our other videos, especially our stuff that we do in the San Francisco Bay, we don't ever travel light. We always bring a lot of stuff, right, Zach? We like, how much stuff do you think we bring? We're like pounds, with a gear that we ne never use. Yeah, about 60 pounds, a lot of unnecessary gear, just because we want to be prepared for every situation, um, which is a good thing and a bad thing in a way. Uh, but today, we're traveling very light. Both have two rods. Oh, I actually have two rods. Zach only has one. Um, very light today. We're just trying to be stealthy. We're gonna be trying to be quick. We don't even. We didn't even bring any other lures. We have what's tied on our rods right now, and that's it. So, not a whole lot of stuff that we can switch to. Relying mostly on our skills with these with these lures. So hopefully, we'll get something. Showing up now to our second spot of the day. Just a small walk down from the first spot. And hopefully, something in this one. How's it look? Very clear. There's one thing I forgot to mention about this lake, or I might have mentioned actually. I know for a fact I mentioned on Instagram. By the way, if you don't follow our Instagram, what are you even doing? If you have Instagram, go follow us. That's where we post a lot of our updates. In fact, anyone that has our Instagram, uh, if 
this time making this video, you guys already know we're in New York because you guys get exclusive content. So, if you want to go follow our Instagram, link in the description below. Yeah, holy cow, this water is some of the clearest I've seen in a while. You guys can see that. Ultra, ultra, ultra clear water. Wow. No. Yeah. Quite literally. This is some of the clearest water that I've ever fished in personally, and I've fished some pretty clear water. It doesn't seem like it gets too, I mean, I can't really tell the depth, but it looks like it's pretty consistent at like three or four feet. Like there's not a drop off, you know what I mean? Currently throwing a little spoon, a spinner, spinner on the uh, Cadence CC5 Ultra Light Rod and Reel. Got some jet skiers. Uh, I've lost track of how many spots this is. It's three or four, but uh, yeah, it's four. But um, the wind has gotten a little bit harder. I can see silver flash over there. All right, on to the fifth spot, if that's even a thing. I think, I just, we, the issue is this entire lake is, is a bunch of private houses. That was really the only stretch of public land, sorry for that angle, that we could find. So our thought process is, and the times we have caught fish, as you saw in last video, sorry for the wind noise, by the way, is that we caught, okay, we caught the fish near the structure. There was a shipwreck, there was weeds, that's where the fish are. So if we can find those things, then we'll find the fish. But so far, all this public land that we've tried is, uh, doesn't have that kind of structure in it. It's, it's all rocks. So the fish don't want to be there. And all the, uh, all the spots where, where there are reeds, the fish are very, very smart. They know what they're doing. Except for the, uh, I, sh I should say the smallmouth owner. So either we need to use a boat or a kayak or there's something we're missing. You guys recognize this spot from the uh, first episode that we did here. This is uh, where we first tried. Got a couple of fish. And actually, no, we didn't get any fish here. I don't think we, no, I don't think we got any fish here. So, try to get some fish here this time. Okay, of course, as I was changing, uh, taking off my jacket, Zach caught a fish. What is it? A little, a little rock bass? A little rock bass. Yeah. Nice. By the way, Zach, big catfish over there. So he's fishing a three-way rig. Yep, it's like an ounce and a worm. Ooh, a G-Wagon. Yeah. That's something you see a lot in the San Francisco Bay. <laughs> oh, this is Nope. Felt heavy and then I was like, wait a damn second. And then I saw the seaweed, look at that. Oh, it's a small one. It's... That's a small mouth. I'm going down there, I'm going down there. Oh, I can't go down there. That's a nice fish. I don't have to go down there. Okay, Zach, just keep him on, keep him on. Don't lift his head out of the water. Okay, we're gonna do something a little illegal to catch this fish, but it's okay. Just this one time, we're gonna jump the fence. That obviously says do not get over. Okay, Zach, come closer to me. This is a nice fish on very light lines, so Zach, be very careful. 
Oh, yeah. I need the line. Oh. There's a bunch of them, too. Nice. Got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small mouth by Cop Isaac. Video release. Yeah. Sick. Nice job. Mouth King, holy cow. How was that for a fight? That was a fun fight. <laughs> well, what we did there was slightly illegal, so don't ever do that again. Yeah, I saw him. There was a couple chasing him up. I almost just wanted to hook one myself, but. Boy, you getting anything big? Just small mouth. A couple small mouth. Small mouth bass? Yeah. Any tuna on this lake? I wish. None? They're good fighters, though, hey, right? Siri, they are. One what kind of stuff do you catch here? Uh, sharks. No, okay. Is that a shark here? <laughs> sharks in the lake. Is it on the camera? I got lake sharks. Yeah. You got a nah. YouTube or something on TikTok? Yeah, YouTube. That's sick. Yeah. Oh, TikTok, so my buddy from back there. We are, but I'm not on channel. His name is Pierce Hansen. You gotta follow him. Right. Oh, is that the one? Is that the Japan one? Yeah, yeah, he's in Japan. Yeah. He's in Japan, but I went to Japan. He's one, yeah. And Pat. Are you all from around here? No, nah, he is. He is. Oh, I see. We're all from out of town. Where are you from? I'm from Baltimore. Oh, shit. Baltimore. I don't like you, my guy. Why? Are you from Pittsburgh or something? Yeah. No way. You guys beat already? Well, Pittsburgh. Okay, so here, here's He's the thing. He's got a YouTube channel, too. I, 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 was, saying, well, <laughs> I was born in Pittsburgh. I don't live there now. You're a Steelers fan, though. You live in this I am town? a Steelers fan. Ooh. Are you from Steelers? I am a Steelers fan. You live here now? No, I live in uh, San Francisco. Oh, we all go to we UCLA. Go to oh, really? He, he wants to go to UCLA. Yo, you got to go to UCLA. Zach, they go to UCLA. All of us except you. I do, too. Made a switch. Tiny jig. If you guys watched the video previous, you know this one. I saw one or two right here. Right now? Yeah. Yep. Small mouth. Don't think he was very interested though. For small mouth, and that's, what we got. that's right. Now I gotta get one today. Yeah. <laughs> can't get them. I could, I could get the rock bass, but I couldn't get this. I can't get the small mouth. What? Here, let me see. Slowly walking down the pier, looking for the fish. Zach's caught two small mouth. Where are the small mouth for me? I would like small mouth, please. Love that. Come on, smallies. All right. Wind is taking these moves. Oh, this is this. Good luck getting out to the reef. Yeah, whatever. What? Angle look good? Yeah, talk a little bit louder though. Alright guys, we're fishing this new spot. Nice. Zach got another one, holy cow. Yeah, that's cool. Sure you got one? Correct. <laughs> that one's pretty big. It's another half. No, that's a big rock bass. Holy cow. Be careful, you only got a four pound line. Oh, wow, that's a big one. Holy cow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
All right, at the time of recording this right now, I'm editing this video and I'm back here in uh, California. And I will say, we got a bunch of really cool New York videos to come. Within the next couple of weeks, we have two more New York videos, as well as a San Diego video, a Lake Erie video, and a bunch of San Francisco Bay videos. So I'm very excited to tell you guys, we've got a ton of really cool content coming. Once again, I want to remind you guys to subscribe. Uh, in November 14th of uh, 2021 is going to be our two year anniversary of this channel. So our goal is to get to a thousand subscribers before then. Please make it happen. It would mean so much to me. Once again, also, if you want to comment down below that you subscribed, we might shout you out in a recent in a, an upcoming video. As you guys saw, today was our first subscriber shout out. Once we get to, if we can get to a thousand subscribers before November of this year, we're gonna do a massive giveaway, biggest giveaway we've done on the channel. So you guys should subscribe because you won't wanna miss that.